Halfpoint Cloud Backup, there will come a time where someone has to perform a restore. This could be a single person, or the responsibilities could be broken up amongst multiple people. If there are multiple people responsible for doing different types of restores, they can be set up using the Account Manager. When I click into Account Manager, the first thing I should do is create a security group. When we create security groups, this allows us to divide up the restore responsibilities. So as an example, I'll make one here specifically for Exchange Online. Now at this point I could invite users, but before I even do that, I'm going to scroll down to pick the specific services that I want folks in this group to have access to. In this case, again, it's only going to be Exchange Online. Maybe these are your Exchange Online admins. You could do the same thing for OneDrive, same thing for SharePoint, all the way down through Project Online. In addition to being able to select a specific service, you can even target a particular scope. Remember, scopes are configured within Dynamic Object Registration at the AOS tenant level. If I click Select Scope, you'll see here in this case I only have default mailbox container, which tells me I'm running an express Dynamic Object Registration rule. If you use advanced DOR rules, you can break up the objects into subcontainers, and then you could come in here and you can pick and choose if that's something you needed to do. So I'm going to select the default mailbox and save. And now up here at the top, I could invite users. To invite a user, you have to put in their email address. You can see that there's a couple of examples down here at the bottom of how that would go in. In this case, I already have someone on my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste, and then we hit Enter. If we had a second person, we could add them in in the same way. Now you'll note Megan in here shows up in blue. That's your visual cue that it is accepting Megan in this particular box. If this email address showed in red, then down at the bottom when you clicked save, it would tell you that is an invalid email address. The reason is because that particular user may exist in your Office 365 tenant, but they also need to be added at the AOS tenant level, back up here at the top, under user management. You can see in this particular case, I have already added Megan. But if I forgot to do that, you would not be able to add her in here in Cloud Backup. It's a simple fix, cancel out this box, go back to AOS, add the user from Office 365, go back into Cloud Backup and try to add her in again, and this time she'll come up in blue. If everything looks good, I'm gonna click on Save. Now in that case, I created the group and added the user at the same time. What you could also do is you could create the groups and then come in and click Grant User Permissions and then here we select the group that we want, and again, we would be able to invite our users, especially useful over time as people come in and leave the organization. In this case here, I don't need to add anyone else, so I'll just cancel back out. So that's how you can set up restore users within particular security groups in Cloud Backup.